Hello all, welcome back to our channel. So students, in this video from unit number 1, we will discuss the problematic uh, method explanation video. Okay. So in unit number 1, in operations research, ma, the important one only problematic you are having that is LPP formulation. So LPP formulation, how you need to do? Like they will give the question how you need to do the solution. So in this video, the complete unit number one uh, explanation of problematic, you will be able to attempt it. So don't skip the video and watch till then, then only you will be able to attempt it. Ma. So write down the question in the examination. They might give like this. So maximum Z is equal to 10X1 plus 6X2. Next, they will give subject to constraints. What is this? Subject to constraints. This subject to constraints, what they have given means 5x1 plus 3x2 is less than 30. Okay. 5x1 plus 3x2 is less than 30. Next, x1 plus 2x2 is less than 18. This is called subject to constraints next uh, whereas okay so whereas x1 comma x2 is greater than 0 like this the equation will be there lpp formulation will be considered into three things maximum or minimum subject to constraints and whereas this is the question mark okay so how you need to do the problematic simply uh, like this question if they are giving in the examination means so you need to start your solution so step number one okay what is step number one means converting step number one is converting in equations in equations into equations what is the step number one you are having ma? Converting in equations into equation. This step is completely fixed for any type of question in your examination. So, what is this in equations into equations means? In the question, whatever the subject to constraints you are having. Okay. See, how you need to do means, what is the first thing you are having? 5x1 plus 3x2 is less than 30 yes that is the only thing you are having now next what you are having x1 plus 2x2 is less than 18 this is the two equations you are having in the subject to constraints if you are having three just make sure you write three if you are having four make sure you write four so how you need to convert in equations into equations means simply either here you are having less than equal to symbol or greater than equal to symbol instead of that you need to keep is equal to that is nothing about 5x1 plus 3x2 is equal to 30 here also x1 plus 2x2 is equal to 18 either you are having less than symbol or greater than symbol this is simple okay just you need to keep is equal to this is step number one i hope you understood now step number two what is step number two means calculating calculating points for decisions variable what is the second point you are having ma? Calculating points for decision variables. So, first I will explain this one ma. What we are having? 5x1 plus 3x2 is equal to 30. This is the equation we have found, uh, we have found it no? in the step number 1. So, after writing this, you need to assume let x1 is equal to 0. You need to assume x1 is equal to 0. In the place of x1, keep 0. That is nothing about 5, 0 plus 3x2 is equal to 30. 5 into 0 is 0 plus 3x2 is as usual is equal to 30. So, when 3 is going here, here what is it will be left over? x2 x2 is equal to 30 divided by 3 so x2 value will be 30 divided by 3 so 3 tens are 30 so x2 is equal to 10 you need to assume 
x1 as a 0 and you need to do this solution then you will get the value of x2 same like that only so what will be the form uh, what will be the point you are having x1 is 0 x2 is 10 that is nothing about 0 comma 10 this is the first equation this is the first equation you are having next the same question you need to do let assume as a x x2 is a 0 so 5x1 plus 3x2 is equal to 30 so now you need to assume x2 as a 0 in the place of x2 keep 0 okay so that it will be 5x1 plus 3 0 is equal to 30 so 5x1 plus 3 into 0 is 0 that is 30 x1 is equal to 30 divided by 5 okay so 30 divided by 5 how much you will get 5 6 a 30 so x1 is equal to 30 now here x1 is 30 x2 will become 0 this is second equation okay in each equation you will have two things same like that only second thing also you need to do in that uh, subject to concerns you are having second one no this one you are having no same like that only you need to do so x1 plus 2x2 is equal to 18 let us assume x1 as 0 so 0 plus 2x2 is equal to 18 x2 is equal to 18 divided by 2 so 2 9s are 18 so x2 is equal to 9 that is not with x will become 0 x2 is 9 so 0 comma 9 this is the first equation in second thing same now same question let assume x2 as a 0 so 2x2 is equal to 18 so x2 is equal to 0 let x2 is equal to 0 so that will become x1 plus 2 0 is equal to 18 x1 plus 2 into 0 is 0 18 yes so next uh, x1 is equal to 18 because 18 divided by 0 is 18 only no so here so x1 is 18 x2 is 0 this is second equation in second subject to constraint in each equation you will get two things ma here you will get two things here also you will get two equations so total four equations so one two three and four so this four equations you have done got it so after completing this four equations what you need to do so after completing this four equations ma you need to draw a graph okay you need to draw a graph so by drawing a graph you will able to attempt you will able to understand what is your feasibility so here i am drawing roughly uh, in the examination you can draw it uh, in the graph paper also so they will provide in the examination centers okay roughly i am doing here this is x axis this is y axis so 0 so 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 whatever the numbers you feel comfortable that you can take it over here so i am taking 2 2 difference ma okay so here also 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 18 20 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 18 and 20 so like this i have taken so what is the first equation you are having over here ma 0 comma 10 0 is on the x axis 10 is on the y axis so 0 is on the x axis okay 10 is on the y axis that is nothing about here only no so that's why i'm plotting here okay in second equation what you are having ma in second equation you are having 30 comma 0 you are having 30 comma 0 so here in the x-axis you should get 30 no so for example this is your 30 just i am making like this okay because based on that you need to do the calculations over here you can take 10 20 30 40 or else 5 10 15 20 25 30 like the difference so directly here i am taking 30 so make sure you do that okay y is on the x0 only next is 0 comma 9 0 is on the x-axis 9 is on the y axis so here okay next one you are having 8 18 comma 0 okay 18 is on the x axis and 0 is on the y axis like this okay so what you need to do simply you need to tie that two equations so 10 and 30 will get tied okay it will get go to get merged and here also 
like this like this okay so like this you need to just uh, make sure you keep the points over there so after doing this graph scale is important ma so x axis and y axis how much difference you are taking that scale also you need to definitely understand it so here where the two lines is merging where the two lines is merging here two lines is getting intersect so this region is called intersect region okay this region is called where the two lines are getting intersected so what are the equations we are having only two equations only no 5x1 and 1x1 x1 that one so after this what you need to do means you just keep a table okay in a table you will have total four columns okay four columns you will have first column is section number second column is points third column is calculation fourth column is value okay so these are the four columns you will have in this um, thing ma so what are the points we are getting in the graph okay so what are this this region is called feasibility region see i, have, I was write, writing like this this region is called feasible region so here also i am writing feasible region so what are the points we are having over there we need to write it so here you are having one point one point second point third point and fourth point see like this you are getting okay like this you are getting so what are the points you are having first one is 0 comma 0 so this point is x axis 0 y axis is also 0 okay next point what you are having ma 8 comma uh, sorry 6 comma 0 see here you are having 6 okay so that one also you need to write it ma okay so that one 6 comma 0 also you need to write it over here what are the points you are having you need to just write over there okay next you are having 9 0 is on the x axis 9 is on the y axis okay so third one will become 0 comma 9 where the value is getting intersect we don't know no now we need to do the calculation part what are the equations we are having over there 5x1 plus 3x2 is equal to 30 second one equation x1 plus 2x2 is equal to 18 yes so simply what we need to do means you need to just double the numbers okay that is nothing about how you need to do means you need to just write the first equation ma that is 5x1 plus 3x2 is equal to 30 okay 5x1 plus 3x2 is equal to 30 next uh, what you need to do means you just give a minus symbol of that that is here you are having 5 no yes so 5 ones are it will get 5 okay okay next one 5 tens are okay next 5 tens are for your better understanding i am writing here ma 5 ones are 5 minus into plus it will become minus only 5 twos are so 5 here you are having to know 5 twos are how much you will get 10 x2 is equal to next you are having 5 18 that is nothing about 5 18s are how much you will get 90 so minus into plus minus 90 like that you need to do it okay so minus 5 plus 5 will get cancelled okay plus into minus minus 3 minus 10 7 x2 30 minus 90 it will become 60 yes plus into minus minus only next here this minus this minus will get cancelled this minus this minus after getting cancelled what it is left over x2 so x2 is equal to 60 divided by 7 okay when you do 60 divided by 7 means you will get like around 8.57 so x2 will be, will be like 8.57 so like that you need to do the simplification after doing this simplification what are the values you are having 8.5 okay so directly 8.57 means 8.6 you can take it or else 8.6 you can take it 
the same way you need to do it for the next equation also ma that is second equation now you will do 5x1 plus 3 what is the x2 value 8.6 no 8.6 is equal to 30 so 5x1 plus 3 into 8.6 is nothing about the 25.8 is equal to 30 so what it will become 5x1 is equal to 30 minus 25.8 so plus into minus is minus only so 30 minus 25.8 you need to do it so 5x1 will become 4.2 next year x1 will become 4.2 divided by 5 okay just i am doing the clarification right now whatever we have done so it will become 0 0.8 now the x1 value is 0 0.8 x2 value is 8.6 okay so 0 0.8 comma 8.6 okay now here i will give you a certain task you need to do it right now and let me know your answers so here in the calculation part ma'am what you need to do in the question whatever the maximum or minimum whatever the first thing you will have what you are having 10x1 plus 6x2 here i am writing 10x1 plus 6x2 okay in the place of x1 in the first thing you need to keep 0 in the place of x2 you need to also keep 0 next one in second equation in the place of x1 you need to keep 6 in the place of x2 you need to keep 0 in third one in the place of x you need to keep 0 in the place of x2 you need to keep 9 in the fourth one you need to keep in the place of x1 0 0.8 x2 8.6 after doing the calculation you need to give the values over here okay so first one i will do so 10 in the place of x1 0 so place 6 0 so answer will become also 0 10 into 0 is 0 6 into 0 is also 0 so answer will become 0 now in the second equation 10 6 plus 6 0 so 10 6 is 60 60 plus 6 into 0 0 so answer will become 60 yes same like that only for this also so 10 here 0 plus uh, 6 9 so 10 into 0 is 0 so 6 9 is a 54 so answer will become 54 yes like that only the fourth equation also if you are doing means you will get 59.6 after doing this whatever is the highest value you are having 60 is your highest value that highest value will become your optimum solution that will uh, optimum objective function like that this you need to underline this in your examination that will be more than enough okay so i hope that you have got clarity regarding this ma if you are having any further doubts uh, let me know in the comment section especially this lpp will be useful in your case study anyway in long you people are preparing for the theory also no so that's why i'm explaining basically okay so that's it ma if you're having any further doubts let me know in the comment section all the very best for your examination as well as your preparation. See you all in the next video. Bye-bye students.